Alright, let's... There's one coat, I'll just let it dry and I'll do this three more times, or two more times. All right, we're gonna import the image here. Now that my tiles have all been painted and dried. We're gonna go with that one. And I'm going to adjust the DPI and stuff first before I fit it to the tile. So first we're going to right click on it, adjust image. I'm going to take my glasses off so I can see here. Okay, so the first thing I do is zoom in. And now you can see what it's supposed to look like and it's all pixely. So I'm going to move my mouse down here. And just hover it over there and I'll use my mouse wheel to roll it up to increase the DPI until it snaps in place like that. So here we go, start increasing. We're gonna go a little more. There we go, it just snapped into place. And that was at 341. So I'm gonna scroll it backwards just so you can see it where it snaps in. Let's see, I gotta highlight over it here. See that? You know you're at the right DPI when, boop, snaps in, done. Now what I like to do is I go to here just click over here to go to 10, click over here to go to 100. And now they look really similar. So now I can zoom back out. And they both look great. And I went from 512 pixels to 1,823 by 1,823. Okay, and I'm gonna change this to Jarvis. And then, make sure it's not on negative, so we're good there. Okay, now I'm gonna frame it. So I'm just gonna kinda bring that down here. And I'll hold my laser before I forget. Okay, so it's probably going to be bigger than that, but we're going to hit frame. And then I'm just going to watch. Okay. So now I know I can just kind of... Well, it's hard to film this and do it. Drive it up, and then it needed to be bigger, so I'm just gonna go a little bit bigger there, and a little bit bigger there, and then we'll go hit frame again, and we'll watch it. Okay, I'm gonna do this a couple more times until it just goes around the edges, and then. I'll start it again, frame it, and show you after that. Okay, so I went ahead and adjusted the corners until I got it to where. So I'm get this down here. When I hit frame. And it just rides around the corner there. I don't have air assist, so I'd turn that off. Double click here. I'm gonna double click right in here. Or well, we just do that. 
2100 tab 80% okay that's how we should look when we get through with it everything's good I'm gonna go ahead and hit start Check on it a couple more times and then I'll still like, stitch this video together to make the whole thing. I don't want to wait out here in the cold. Okay, checking on it again. Looks pretty good. Still turning out good. Okay, finished now. I'm gonna try and hold the phone up here and then uh, I'll scrape it here real quick. Okay, with all the paint scraped off, now I'll go inside and wash it and then I'll be ready for clear cut. Okay. It's hard to do with one hand. All right, I'm gonna let this dry for 10 minutes and then we'll clear coat it. They didn't have any of the regular Rust-Oleum 
in the gloss at Lowe's, so I didn't want to uh, go somewhere else. So, here we go. Okay. Oh, we'll let this dry for about 10 minutes and then let's check it out again. Okay. And that's how I do mine. It's pretty simple. <laughs>